So hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to look at the vernier scale. We want to understand the idea of the least count. The vernier calipers has basically two scales. It's got a main scale, which is this one here. The upper scale is referred to as the main scale. And it's got this lower scale here, which slides along the main scale. I'll be able to show you in the next lesson how this scale slides. And it's referred to as the vernier calipers. Rather, it's referred to as the vernier scale. Let's briefly look at the main scale. The main scale is just like the scale you have on the meter rule. The meter rule is graduated in centimeters and millimeters. So from here all the way to that point is a length of one centimeter. That one centimeter is divided into 10 equal divisions. And one division, you know very well that it's equal to one millimeter. In meters, one millimeter is the same as 0 0.1 of a centimeter. I just need to divide the one millimeter by 10 to, to convert it into centimeters. Alternatively, I can take this one centimeter, divide by 10 divisions, and I'll find that one division is 0 0.1 centimeter. So on a meter rule, we count in terms of 0 0.1 centimeter. For example, starting from zero, from here to here is 0 0.1 centimeter. Then I'll add another 0 0.1 centimeter to get the distance from here to here being equal to 0 0.2 centimeters. Similarly, I'll add another 0 0.1 onto this one to get 0 0.3 to get the distance from here to here being equal to 0 0.3 centimeters. And so on until I get one centimeter. What I want you to see is that I'm moving in steps of 0 0.1 centimeter. In other words, I'm counting in terms of 0 0.1 centimeter. And this is the smallest division that I have on a meter rule. So we can comfortably say that the least count on a meter rule is 0 0.1 centimeter. Now, is it possible to divide that 0 0.1 centimeter into 10 equal divisions? And these divisions should be visible to the naked eye. That is very difficult. It's not possible to, to see it. If I divide this by a further 10 so that I can get 0 0.01 centimeter, it will not be able to see. It will not be visible. And therefore, it cannot be read accurately. That is why we need to introduce the idea of the vernier scale. First of all, let us look at uh, the vernier scale. The vernier scale over here has starts from zero and it has got 10 divisions. And these 10 divisions occupy a distance equal to from here to here on the main scale. What is the distance from zero all the way to this ninth division here? You will agree with me that this is 0 0.9 centimeters. So, 0 0.9 centimeters is from here all the way to there. And then there are 10 divisions in that distance of 0 0.9 centimeters. There are 10 divisions, I've named them. In fact, look at the spaces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 divisions in a distance of 0 0.9 centimeters. So the question we want to ask ourselves, what is the length of this division here or that small distance? How do I get it? I need to divide 0 0.9 centimeters by 10 divisions and I will get 0 0.09 centimeters. 
So the length of one division on the vernier scale is 0 0.909 centimeters. But the length of one division on the main scale, we were able to see that it was 0 0.1. We can add, add another zero there because we want to compare. This is 0 0.09 centimeters. So you can obviously see that the length of one division is smaller. The length of one division on the vernier scale is smaller than the length of one division on the main scale. What is the difference between them? In other words, what is the size of this distance here? This one here. We can get that distance by subtracting 0 0.09 from 0 0.1. So if I do that, 0 0.1 minus 0 0.09, I get 0 0.01 centimeters. That short distance, that very slight distance there, has a length of 0 0.01 centimeters. This distance here is referred to as the least count of a vernier calipers, the least count of a vernier calipers. Remember what is what is the meaning of the least count? For the meter rule, we count in terms of 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So if we are told that the least count for a vernier calipers is 0 0.01, we will count in terms of 0 0.01. For example, we'll start from 0 0.01 centimeters. The next one will be 0 0.02, the next one will be 0 0.03, the next one will be 0 0.04, until we get 0 0.10 0 centimeters. In other words, we've got from here all the way to here, let's say this is 0 and this is 1 millimeter. Or 0 0.1 of a centimeter. We are subdividing this one millimeter into 10 equal divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let me add another one there to make it 10. In other words, this distance here is the one which we are calling 0 0.01 centimeters. Very, very small. Here, I have magnified the scale. Remember, if you look at a meter rule or uh, a normal 30 centimeter ruler, this one millimeter is a very small distance. So I want you to imagine dividing that very small distance by 10 equal divisions. You will hardly be able to see those divisions. But the vernier calipers helps us to read up to this value up to this level of precision. That's a new term that I've mentioned. I'll be explaining what it means. But for now, we can say that the vernier calipers is a more precise measuring instrument compared to the meter rule. So in terms of precision, the vernier calipers is more precise. So let's review the main points of this lesson. Number one. We wanted to make it clear that a vernier scale or a vernier calipers has two scales, the main scale and the vernier scale. The main scale is graduated the way a meter rule is graduated, and it's got the value of the least count being 0 0.1 centimeters. The vernier scale is also, also has 10 divisions, and the length of one division on the vernier scale is 0 0.09 centimeters, and it is therefore smaller than the length of one division on the main scale. And the difference between the length of one division on the main scale and the length of one division on the vernier scale is 0 0.01 centimeters. This value is referred to as the least count, and that means that we count in terms of 0 0.01 of a centimeter 
on a vernier scale. So the vernier scale helps us to read values to the second decimal of a centimeter accurately. That is not possible with the meter rule. The meter rule helps us to read up to 0 0.1 of a centimeter accurately. But the vernier calipers goes to the next decimal. So this is what I'd like you to do. I want you to go through the video once again, because in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to read the vernier scale. This is an announcement for students. We are in the process of putting together video lessons for Form 1, Form 2, Form 3, and Form 4. That is for the Kenya 844 system of education. This is an online class where lessons are organized in line with this system of education. You will be able to access support materials such as notes and practice questions. All you need to do is send me your email and I'll send you the link to the class. Please specify the form that you're interested in so that I can send you the correct link. Send your email address to munrokagwe at gmail.com. Take advantage of the offer while it is free.